James Green short series shenanigan. So this is exhaust manifold broken bolt repair part two. Or now we're going to put a helicoil in. So part two here, part one was me hoping I didn't have to do a helicoil, but if you guys saw that part, this is if you haven't used a helicoil, here you go. So we haven't done any of it yet. So this is a new set that I've got. Helicoil, you can pick these up at your O'Reilly's parts store or wherever. That's where I got this one at. There's a bunch of them out there. The drill bit size, which I've already taken the drill. Oh, actually I've used this once before. So the drill bit ended up in my, I always keep all my drill bits because I know what size and it actually says on here, uh, drill diameter size is a 2564 or 391 thou. It'll generally say that somewhere on the package. If you happen to get one of these used somewhere and it has the tap, it has the inserts and it has the insert driver, it doesn't have the bit. You can generally look on the package or internet. I mean, you can see them out. It's, it's common and available. So if you get a chance to buy, sometimes guys will sell these, they'll keep the bit. They're like, oh man, it doesn't have the bit. They're common sizes. They're not oddball stuff. Um, and you can get them pretty much anywhere. So same thing as before, we're going to be using a big gator drill and tap guide. This is the bigger one uh, that goes from 3 8 to half that I was talking about because this is a 25 64 drill bit what we're going to be doing and just wash, rinse, repeat what we did a while ago and I'll show you guys where we're at. Pretty much same thing, but be careful when we're drilling that we don't actually break a bit like we did in the small one. Um, and I like using a hand drill just because I can feel if it's trying to bind, I can stop. Everyone has their own little preference. So I'm going to do like we did before. And the, what I have done is make sure I got this on this side here. Okay, I'm going to get my size set so I'm not having to mess around. Okay, to line this up, now, I'm going to line up with, down here on the lower part, let me show you guys. Let me move you over here behind me so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So, how do you find your location or how am I going to do it? And I'll show you. Okay. Let me zoom you in here. All right. You can see that this part of the hole is where the drill bit wandered to not a big deal. So what I'll generally do is I'll line where the original hole is up, where I want it to go. You, now you saw me last time, if you do that and you slide the bit in, it's going to kind of want to fall in between the two. So what I'll do is I'm going to set the drill, drill bit down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through here and I'm going to line up on where the original hole is. Okay. Is how I'm going to do this. Make sure I'm not. I know you guys can't see through the hole, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to do here. Line up, okay, and then we'll come in here and then lock this down. Whoop. Back through the hole and line it up. All right. We get lined up, we'll sneak it down real good. All right, and we know it's trying to pull up. Just gotta be careful of that. And that's just this manifold because of how it's... Get right. I wanna keep it as straight as possible but because that can affect how it, you know, goes on or off center. I got this big boy. So there you guys have the idea. We're lined up over. Now I know it's if I try to pull it too tight, then this will actually kick up. Uh, if you did have room, uh, we're able to and get another bite. I mean, I could get like a big giant clamp, but trying to find an area to hold onto this is going to be fun. So let me slide you guys over to the side. That way you're not. I don't want because I need to stand right where that camera is. Okay. All right, and you guys can see what's going on from right there. All right. 
check. Yeah, it slid up just a little bit. And I don't want it to, once it starts drilling, I don't want it to jump around. So right there. All right. A little oil. Just because. And you can see it. Yeah. That's the part of it's trying to jump around. It's going to find its own center, if you will. Make sure I'm not going all the way. Sorry if I'm blocking your. This is where I want to use a hand drill so I can, when I feel it bind up, I can stop. And I'm going. Chip at it. Okay, we're through. All right. Back down below. That's why I like, you know, you don't want to get on it with and hot and heavy and, you know, break anything. But so there, it it finished. It found it pretty much found its own center anyway. But it doesn't have to be super precise because there's plenty of room for the exhaust, you know, plate that goes up here to fit and everything. So it will be fine. You know, us that are garage machinists who always want to try to make it as best as possible. Let's clean all that off. Let me get a trash can underneath this so I'm not dumping stuff on the floor here. Although it's okay. Uh, let's try to keep some of the gas cleaned up. I'm just going to rinse this out. A little carb cleaner. A little bit of air. And then we've got the tap. So the tap that is here, which I need to go get a tap guide because we do want to tap it straight. Pop this open here. I should have already had the tap over here. The tap guide, I'm sorry guys. Normally when I don't video this stuff, I fly through it. So I'm always trying to make sure I'm set up for you guys so you don't have wasted time over here. Tap guide. Metric. Standard tap guide. There we go. So you've got standard, ENSI standard, and then metric tap guides. Here's the standard for this, and it's a 3 8 tap, which, well, it says that's the thread that it's going to make. It's actually a special helicoil tap, so it's not a 3 8 16, even though it says that. See, that's weird. And I've never used one of these with, now normal taps will fit in there, but this isn't a normal, this is a helicoil tap, so that's not, so let's see what else we have that's gonna be close. I mean, a hole is a hole is a hole is a hole. Because we do wanna try to hold this as straight as possible. Um, the next closest it's gonna hold it is a 15, 30 seconds. Okay, all right. Again, because this is a special tap, it's not a 3816 tap, it's a tap for helicoil for a 3816. So, whatever this is, you know. So, but the 15 30 seconds on this other drill guide works great. Let's lock it down. That's why it's always good to have the complete set if you can get them. Okay, all right, let me get my tap wrench. I've got one over here that I really love. It has really been really, really good for me for this. I've got one of these ratcheting ones and they work really handy for things like this. And they've got a removable chuck. Uh, it's got a large one and a small one and they come off. Uh, they're just an import style. Um, you can oil them. You can have a guide on there. You can put a, a wrench or whatever. They're pretty handy. Um, I've got other ones as well too. You know, tamp handles, all that good stuff. We need oil. I'm going to put some oil on here on this sucker because we're in cast. You really don't have to with cast, but you know. 
and we're just lining this up straight. And I like doing both hands like this. That way I can feel. How it's going. Look under here and feel. Now, what I like to do, the reason you really don't want to do oil with cast, but you can, but I like to blow the chips, we've got a through hole, blow them out so they don't grab. The biggest thing that I see people, when you're running a tap, whether it's in a lathe or a mill or something like this, getting those chips out, chip evacuation, uh, keeps it from binding up. You can hear them falling out there. Look down here, make sure we're not. You can hear it go clunk clunk. Hitting the can. Blow a little more. through yeah okay we're through now before I back it out same thing blow those chips out and then we flip the little switch here and we're coming out now sometimes during the process it'll pop a chip in there you can just to make sure. a little air and so it's out. Loosen that, put that back over here. All right, guide out, done, clear. Get over here, grab a little cleaner. Blow it out, get rid of that oil. And I'll show you guys the hole over here so you can see how good of a hole it made. Threading wise, try to get you guys lined up here so you can see it. Bear with me while I get you lined up. Okay, oh, sorry. All right, we got a real good hole. Threads are good all the way around. It found its own center. Now, obviously, this is bigger than you know three eight sixteen, which you know it's a helicoil. So next we're going to take our one of the inserts, we're going to take the driver, okay, and what you do, so it's got a slot, so what you actually do is you screw that in there, like, well, let me back you up, sorry guys, my bad. So you've got your driver, you've got the little tong that goes on the bottom, the little split, thread that in there like so, and it's lined up, and you just start it. And once it gets its little, it'd be kind of tricky to get these started at times. There we go. But once you get it started, okay, and then you can just get like a small crescent, which is what I usually do. Sometimes you can put them in by hand. Real light, because all you got to do, slide it in there, okay. Now we know it's going to try to go all the way through. Okay. Now, once you get to where you want it to be, Okay, it's seated in there. It's not out of the back all the way, but you don't want it to hit something. Uh, you don't want it to keep spinning out, so you knock that little tab off. All you do, you grab your punch. Okay, you just go in there with a punch, real simple, nothing fancy. And you just knock that little tab off. Boom, and it's set. Now you don't have to worry about you know, you can put your driver back in there, but it's set in place, thread repair done, 
complete. Put this back in here, that back in the set, and this back in here, and we're good to go for the next one. So, there you go. Pretty fam dancy, pretty simple. Helicoils are not that hard to do. Um, they come in Imperial and Metric. Again, another reason to have the different sizes for, you know, there was no specific size for this, uh, or for the tap, I'm, I'm saying. So, it's another reason, BigGatorTools.com, drill and tap guides. Even though that tap, there wasn't a specific size, I actually, we ended up using the drill guide, okay? This one here is the one we ended up using. All right, that goes from 3 8 to half. That actually fit the tap, which ended up being a 15, 30 seconds. Worked great, no problems. You guys saw how we got it installed. That's what I'm talking about, getting it done. Oh, and I will put this back in this set so that I know. For some reason, I left it away. Why, I don't know. Oh, that's why it's too big. Okay, oh well. I know what size it needs, and I'll write, what I'll usually do is I'll write on here, so, or if you don't have the little piece of paper, once you find out, Sharpie marker is your friend, and you can write on the back, takes, you know, 25, what is it, 25 64 drill bit, you know, make yourself reminders, make up your own little sets, that way you know, so, set that there, that there. You guys, I appreciate the support I've been receiving since I got the channel started. Um, you know, phenomenal. I hope you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. You know, I love to hear from you in the comments. And you can email me too, eagledustoff37 at gmail.com. Uh, there's a lot of simple stuff that I may or may not show on here. But if there's something in particular that I've done in a previous video, whether it was a recent one or one from a couple of years ago, and maybe you have a question about it, hit me up, you, you know, guys, or you want to see me do it again, or maybe something I've missed, let me know, guys. I'm all, that's why I'm doing the channel. So that way, I impart the knowledge out there, helps you guys and gals, and uh, hey, I'll learn something in return, you know. Uh, it's always great to converse with the fellow YouTubers out there and you guys in the community. I'm also on Instagram, EagleDustOff37. And uh, so there. You guys have fun. I know it was a short video. Usually they're about 30 minutes, but uh, I look forward to doing the live stuff. It would have been great to do this whole thing on a one long live video. But anyway, next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family. And remember, at the end of the day, you and your family is all you got. Talk to you next time out there. Bye-bye.